After independence, transport in Singapore was haphazard. The government made plans for a better transport system and was exploring investments in an MRT. In 1972, I came to Singapore to study the feasibility of a high-speed mass transit system for Singapore. It was an unconventional idea, but I was convinced that an island-wide rail system could become the backbone of Singapore's public transport network. Some were unconvinced, but I fought hard for the MRT to be built, with support from the then Minister for Communications, Ong Teng Cheong. After long debates at the Astana, we managed to get Singapore's leaders to buy into the idea that the MRT system could be convenient and cost-effective and ultimately good for Singapore's long-term development. The construction of the MRT was officially announced in 1982. In 1984, I joined the MRT Corporation, which managed the MRT system. By then, my wife, Maya, and two sons had also settled down in Singapore. In 1987, the first stretch of the MRT line from Topayo to Yochu Kong was opened, and over 120,000 commuters turned up to board the brand new trains. The MRT, which is fast, comfortable and able to transport large numbers of people around the city, remains an important part of Singapore life up till today. In 1989, I joined TransitLink as project manager, where I set up the first integrated ticketing system in Singapore. This was the birth of the Stored Value Transport Card. I retired in 2013 and continue to live in Singapore, the place I've called home since 1981. Transport is my passion and I'll still continue to give feedback on how we can continuously improve the transport system here.